Leaving uh, Iran and, and emigrating to the U.S., uh, how old were you at the time? Five years old? No, it's like three. three okay. And, and what did the family bring? Not much. I mean, literally, um, you know, my dad was you know, born uh, in, in a ghetto at the time in 1929. So he kind of built everything up with my uncle. And then pretty much, I'd say 97, 98% of their wealth was gone. Um, so it was pretty much a couple of suitcases, no birth certificates. You know, it was, it, they really intended to leave for a short period of time, as a lot of people did back then. They didn't think this was going to last, and the revolution was going to kind of have a 30-year run like it's had now. So um, it was a v very minimal. Um, and father was a family was already successful in Iran. They had they had ended up becoming pretty successful in Iran in the construction equipment and construction equipment. That's it's always Business. interesting to to you know hear about people who've done really well. And then, you know, hearing your dad's story briefly, he's done really well more than once. Yeah. And started and, over from scratch, didn't he? Yeah, and the second time, I mean, the first time, obviously, a lot of hard work. Um, a lot of hard work. A lot of being in construction at the time in Iran, 1960s. Uh, you know, the stories you hear, and, you know, as, as they kind of embellish a little bit, as they get a little older, I don't know, you know, I try to, you know, get the stories from four or five different people. But, you know, they go six, seven, eight months at a time trying to build roads. And really, the time in, in that time in the Middle East, especially Iran, where they were really expanding um, you know they have very strong I should believe it or not very strong ties with uh, with America and the West and uh, really good you know, it was a very uh, democratic run arguably democratic run society <laughs> under the under the ruler of the Shah so I guess it was the haves and haves not have nots really kind of over there but so, you know when he was 48 years old he came here didn't speak the language didn't have any, much of anything and then to do it again that's kind of that's really I think where a lot of the respect from us and all the kids and the thing people around him uh, to do it twice. It's, it's kind of miraculous. It is.